Today, we're going to clean up this kingfish we caught yesterday. <laughs> Chachi caught one. I caught one. And I think this is the one I caught. I'm not sure. But we're going to stake these up. Um, I'm going to try something too. I'm going to try a, a boneless butterfly I've seen somewhere on YouTube on some of it. So we're going to stake these up. A lot of people smoke these. Um, you can also fry them. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fry up the steaks and do like this fish sauce, gingery, tomato sauce that everyone likes. Um, so I'm going to have Francesca here start the first cut. And we're going to be using this 9 inch bubble blade stiffy. So Chachi, you want to cut off the tail? Ah. Okay, watch out. So there we go. Right there. There, we're going to cut the tail. Just get rid of the tail, alright? And you can, kingfish bones are pretty soft. You should be able to cut right through it. Here, I got it. <laughs> Try to do your first cut. I'll finish it up. That's the tail. That's a little trophy. Alright. I think I'm going to stake up to about the fin and I'll try the bonus ones for the, with the rest of the fish. Um, but with the tail end, since it's kind of small, so I usually like to do it a little bit thicker. So it's going to be, I don't know, about 3-4 inches for the last part. It's one part. And we're going to do, I don't know, an inch and a half, two inches per stake. So what you can do is you can pre-cut these all the way through. So you have something to go by. Yep. I'm going to go back and cut the bone. Oh, I see the blood coming out. I'm going through the skin. Kingfish, kingfish steaks. This part here with the fin, you can cut right through it just like you would. Like a shark. There goes our steak. Um, the eggs before I cut through the guts and everything, so I don't destroy them. Go right here through the, what's called the booty hole. Cut open the stomach without puncturing all the way through. Maybe we can see what it ate in the stomach. Huh? You're gonna dissect it. Any eggs? Yes, there is. A belly full of something. Look at that. That thing's stiff. What is that? Stomach right there. Here's the egg. You see the egg sac? That's the row. Some people like it, some don't. Us Asians, we love them. Especially if we're going to fry it. It's going to be your guys' breakfast. The eggs? The eggs are big. The eggs? Why are the eggs so big? Because they have thousands of little eggs inside. It's an egg sack. The black stuff inside blood. I poop. <laughs> no, that's their blood. Is Egg sack. Poop? Egg. Check. Alright. So we can't put any poop in there? What is it? No. Poop? That's poop right there. Ew. I don't want to touch that. The brown? Yeah. Brown you want to eat it? No. I don't <laughs> touch that. Let's uh, I'll cut the stomach out. That's Let's just see what he ate besides our blue one. You ready? Yeah. To see this nastiness? What's in there? <coughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh! Is that a kingfish? I ate another kingfish. <laughs> Look at that. Kingfish or a mackerel. Dang, that's not our blue runner, man. <laughs> Push, Push, I'm gonna try this boneless um, steaks. So. 
requires you to fillet a little bit thicker, so twice as thick. So if you want your steaks about two inches thick, you gotta cut, cut about four inches. So um, let's go about here. It's about four inches, right? Okay. And then from there. Follow the backbone. Go over the spine and straight down the back. Should have everything there. Okay. Um, something's holding it there. A little piece. A little pin bone. There we go. Alright. I think this is what they do. So basically, here's your fillet. Obviously, it's boneless besides this part. I'll clean that off. Um, take that the whole section off. So I believe these go here and you cut down the middle, but you leave the ends, they'll cut all the way through. Flip it over, and you cut this all the way through. But don't cut all the way through the skin. That's what they call a boneless steak. Skin's down the middle. Alright guys, we got our kingfish, the boneless kingfish steaks here. Francesca, she's going to help us prepare this to cook. So over here I'll show you the ingredients. Oh, and also we got the kingfish roe over here. So we got some scallions, that's for topping off later, just for garnish. But right here, your main thing, you're going to need just some tomatoes, some onions, yellow onions, and some ginger. Um, what we're going to do is, I'll show you that there, I mean, you're going to need salt, some pepper, some oil for frying and for sautéing. This is a good old Vietnamese fish sauce. And some sugar. That's all you're gonna need. Um, and let's start with this. So I'm gonna have Francesca here. I'm gonna take the ginger, I'm gonna put it into a bowl. And then from there, we're gonna put some sugar in it. We use a lot of sugar, so I need a big, big pack. I'm gonna say, Two spoonfuls. A little bit more because we kind of want our goal is to go with a sweet and salty taste. And I'm gonna have a little meddler, so I'm gonna have her use the back of a wooden spoon. So you're just gonna have to sit here and, and kind of smush the ginger and sugar together to get all the nice ju you know juices of the ginger out of there. It makes with the sugar. Go ahead, Chachi. Just some uh, canola oil. You can use vegetable, any kind of oil you want. I'm gonna use a little bit more, about a quarter inch thick. Maybe a little bit more, so we can kind of almost fry it, deep fry almost. Um, I got our kingfish here that we rinsed off and pat it dry. So we're gonna season it. So all I'm gonna do is just do a simple salt and pepper. Turn around and do the other side. Right, let's see if I can squeeze that last piece in. I don't think so. Go with that. Keep using the steak. Alright, now we're going to start on our sauce or topping. Um, so I have a wok here. Or not a true wok, but you know, something to eat. I'm high right now to get warm. 
little bowl in there. And while that's warming up, I'm going to toss the onions in now. A little bit of sugar to help caramelize them. Saute is good. Some salt. And some pepper. I forgot one more thing. You do need some paprika. This will give it some coloring. So I'm gonna let that heat up and then let us all take that. So. Alright, so it's heating up. I'm gonna saute the onions a little bit. So what we're gonna do is basically saute the onions and the tomatoes. I'm gonna do the onions first until they get a little bit of golden. Bring out the flavor of the onions a little bit better. The chest was done with the ginger, see all the how juicy it is now? All the sugar and the ginger juice came out of it. So what I'm going to add to this is our fish sauce. This is uh, some salty stuff. <laughs> to add flavor? Yep. We'll add more sugar we need. And while that's in there, we're going to mix it up. And then we're going to let this sit. I'm going to taste it first. I'm going to see if we need more uh, sugar or not. Oh, I think it's good. Okay, that's enough there. You can make it sweet if you want. So now we're going to add our tomatoes to the onions. Yeah. Add some more pepper to them. A lot of pepper is good in this dish. Cook this until the tomatoes get kind of soft, and then because uh, you kind of want to smush them down or like crush them up, and they will dump that fish sauce and ginger on them in a bit. You want to cook this for a bit. All right, looks like it's ready to be flipped. The mackerel, it's kind of thick. You can tell we're in an Asian household. Chopstick, baby, chopstick. Woo! Watch out, chopstick, it's hot. Oh yeah, nice and brown. It's going to be nice and crispy. I got a switch. Not much candy. It's a chopstick. It's screwed. They are. Two fish steaks. Oh yeah, look at that. Looking good. Smells good. The tomatoes are about right. Now we're gonna just pour the sauce in, and let it caramelize That's over the that. onions. This one? Uh, you made this. That was a ginger and sugar and fish sauce. I'm gonna turn the heat up a bit, medium high. We're gonna pour this in there. Mix it up a bit. We're gonna bring the heat up, let it get to a little um, boil almost, and then we'll let it simmer a bit on low heat until uh, the fish are done. Sometimes we like to fry the fish and actually throw it in there, but I think we're just gonna pick the fish up and put this on top. That way it still stays nice and crispy. It's been about five minutes. Fish looks like they're about done. I'd rather have my fish undercooked than overcooked. I hate a dry fish. Special king fish, it's going to be a little oily. If you undercook them a bit, they're not going to be as bad. Ooh, it's chicken. It's chicken. I have a plate here with some paper towels in it to help drain the oil. Alright, we're going to let these drain for a couple of minutes. 
gonna put them on a plate and top them with this sauce that we just made. Now the tomato's kind of breaking up. I'm gonna break the tomato up in there. Can't forget about the beautiful row sack. Salt and pepper on there, so I did something simple. Woo! Gotta watch out when it's close. First piece of uh, kingfish. First, we're gonna get some uh, white jasmine rice that we just cooked up in this awesome rice cooker. This plate's gonna be for Lily, so. First piece of kingfish. Right there. And then we get some of this sauce that we just made up here, with the tomatoes and all. Go right over the fish. Tomatoes. Got some green onions. We're gonna have Tan, it's his turn to do some work now. He's gonna try the fish we just cooked. Tan right there. And then we got the, the two girls, Francesca and Kaylina. Hi, and you know, they're gonna give it a try. All right, let's see if, how they like it. All right, Tan first. Gotta have the rice with the fish, you know. It's been a while since we had this. It's good. It's really good, guys. Dude, it's really good. It's too salty? Nope. Perfect. It's good. Y'all need to try some. Here, if, you, if I could feed it to show you guys. Them, show them the texture of the fish. Yeah, they're big flakes. Not too bad. So Some people like it, some don't. You know, so I guess it just it really depends on the way you cook it. Alright, girls, your turn. Go ahead and get a little piece off of there. You can try just the fish alone if you want. You don't have to put rice. I'll put rice. That's a big mouthful, can you? Oh. Mmm. How's it? Good. Yeah? Good. These are coming from two picky little girls. So hey, you know a piece of fish. You can try it with the tomatoes too if you want. I know Chachi likes the tomatoes. Mm. You do with a piece of tomato, Chachi. You don't have to do rice. What? Any I'm piece. Do rice. You want rice and tomatoes? Mm. No. She wants more fish. And she usually don't eat fish. Good? You want more? Chachi ended up taking the whole plate for herself. Kaylee, you want a plate? Mm. Or you guys just want to share? Sure. Alright, you know. Tan's almost done, kind of. Oh, not really. It's a big piece. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of Chef Vic cooking this kingfish. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video. See you guys next time in the Chatsui Kitchen.